Hey guys, it's John with the FJ Cruiser channel. I've got another project I wanted to share with you guys. So on my 2014 FJ Cruiser, I'm going to be installing light bar, uh, rear lights, uh, refrigerator, inverter, and some other things. And so I know it's going to get pretty messy under the hood with the relays, fuses, and all the other stuff that goes along with uh, some of these electronics. So what I'm trying to do is create a circuit panel um, and to keep everything clean, um, also, it's probably a safer way to put it as far as, um, you know, having a circuit breaker and things like that. So eventually things don't, something goes bad, it doesn't short out and catch a car on, car on fire. So let me just give you a brief description here of what I've got. I just went on Amazon and I picked up some relays. Uh, these are just your standard 30, 40 amp relays. Um, I also picked up a, um, a fuse box, and there's a piece of paper there. It's essentially, what this is is a 30 amp per um, per channel, and a max of 100 amps per fuse block. And I'll post a, um, essentially a link at the bottom for all of the parts over here. And then um, also picked up a nice little terminal block. These are actually 45 amps per channel. Um, I did this because I know for sure the light bar is going to draw, I don't know, between 20 and 30 amps. And so I wanted to kind of, uh, you know, you always want to rate it a little higher than, than what you're going to draw. So, um, and then I've got a resettable fuse. Essentially these, um, if you exceed that 100 amps, something goes wrong, something shorts out, essentially it will just trip that fuse block and then you can reset it so you don't have to um, buy one of those big fuses that comes with power amps and etc this will should take care of it and so I kind of matched everything so since that fuse block is you know 100 amps max well I want to protect it with a 100 amp fuse so um, some of the things I've seen online people don't take that into account they'll get a 300 amp fuse resettable fuse but they're their fuse block is only rated to 100 amps, so essentially you can still catch fire. So just make sure that whatever you're doing, um, match up your current settings um, to whatever the specifications are of the components that you're using. So kind of what I started with is that little piece of paper there is going to be my template. I went ahead and found a spot. I'm going to show you here pretty soon. Uh, on the panel on the on the ends under the hood of the FJ cruiser. There's a nice little spot where I'm going to put um, Where I'm going to put the circuit board so That cutout is just simply my template that I'll go and play around with and figure out where all the holes are going to go before I make all my final cuts and holes to that um, piece of I guess that's fiberglass a fiberglass board that I have um, and I'll spray paint it black and etc. So anyways, um, let me cut out and I'll come back and show you when I make a little bit more progress. Thanks. So let me show you real quick where it's going to go. So that's the right side of the quarter panel at the FJ. Um, those two bolts are 10 millimeter bolts and I got those from the uh, OEM rack that I used to have and they're just standard 10 millimeter Toyota bolts. Uh, there are already some bolt holes right on that quarter panel, and there are several all over the FJs that you can, um, so if you've got those 10, milli 10 millimeter bolts, just hang on to them, you can probably use them for something. So uh, what I'm going to do is just put some washers on the back of that and kind of keep it away from the body a little bit so I could run the ground wires behind it. Um, so, but that's where it's going to go, and so let me transfer some of these markings and holes over to the fiberglass board that I'm going to use and so once I do that I'll come back with some more pictures. Alright guys so I've got the panel painted I went ahead and drilled some of my holes uh, according to my template and um, time to start assembling so um, what I'm going to do is um, I don't want to spend too much time on this there's plenty of videos out there on how to connect uh, relays for automo automotive relays but um, so essentially it's pretty simple um, we've got pin 30 is what's going to be connected to uh, the battery source which in this case will be my um, fuse block and 
pin 87 will go to whatever device I'm going to power, you know, LED light bar, refrigerator, whatever. And pin 87 will go to whatever device I'm going to power, you know, LED light bar, refrigerator, whatever. And then we have 86 and 85. This is where um, the switch will go to the relay. This is essentially what um, activates power going this way. So uh, I'm going to reuse some of the wires from the harness that came with the relay. I mean, those look pretty cheap. They're like, I don't know, 18 gauge maybe. And so I'll probably just reuse those across these terminals, which shouldn't be that much current going through just to power the relay. But for the for the 12 volt power supply, I'm probably going to try to use something thicker, um, maybe 14 gauge or something like that standard. Anyway, uh, let me continue assembling this board and I'll come back and show you the final product. So here it is finished, all wired. Um, takes a little while but it's not hard to do. So I went ahead and put the five relays. I've got a slot open for one more relay. I just bought the five pack from Amazon, but I've got one on the car that I'll pull out and install it right there. Um, so the switch will be connected here. This goes into your car and it powers to read the coil from the relay. And the other terminal just goes to whatever device you're connecting to. So essentially one wire goes to your battery You've got your fuse breaker, fuse box connected to all your relays, and you got outputs for many devices to come. So um, now it's just time to install it in the car. I'll show you that next. Guys, here we are again. Uh, that's where the panel is going to go. And what I'm going to do is I wanted to find a, a place to run all my wires through the firewall. So Right over here, there's a little spot where this little rubber plug was on the firewall. So um, I'm going to use that as my point of entry into the car with all the wires from that fuse box. So what I found at Amazon was this Daystar firewall boot. And I'm going to give that a shot, and I'll post a link to that as well on the bottom. So... Um, one thing is that hole is a lot smaller than with the size of that boot, but um, I'll just go ahead and drill it and make it a little, little larger so I can fit more wires through it. So, a little change of plans. The boot is actually a uh, one and a quarter inch hole, and that little spot was way too small. So what I did is I drilled a new hole. So I used one of these big old stepper bits and um, put a good size one and a quarter inch hole right there and there's some daylight going through. I didn't want to cut the other side too big and it actually looks pretty clean on the other side. So you can barely tell there's a hole there at all. Sorry for having to cut back and forth, but I don't I only have two hands. Anyway, so here are the, um, here's the boot on the firewall and it actually it's pretty snug. It looks, it feels, it won't pull out. And um, it should be fine to run all my wires through. I'm creating a wire harness for six wires to go through the firewall and connect them all to that uh, relay box. Um, and then I'll have it all nice bundled in um, right by the FJ where all the buttons are going to go. So. Um, I want to keep track of them, so I'm getting these little shrink tubes, shrinkable tubing, and numbering them. And then um, that way, when I have all the wires together, I can tell which wire goes to which relay, and I can just makes it easier to keep track. Keep track of all the wires. Nice little tip. So now I'll number them all. And with that Sharpie and after you shrink tube it, it it'll be there forever. So 
So here I've got them all done. As you can see, I've got you know one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and if you notice, the wire colors are different. I didn't have um, six of red, and I kind of wanted to keep them separate anyways because the first three relays are wired with um, 12 gauge uh, wire, so I could essentially connect higher current devices on those first three relays. And so in this way I can differentiate them. I can, I'll keep one, two, three on high current and four, five, six on lower current stuff. Um, anyways, I'll do the same thing on the other side um, and number them accordingly. And then I'll probably bungee them up somehow, shove it through the firewall and have everything tucked away and by the switches. So um, I'll show you that next. All right, so I have the whole thing done now. I got both ends connected with terminals, numbered. Um, I got some shrink tubing, and I'm, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of put a few pieces of shrink tubing like this just to kind of keep it together every foot or so, just to keep it all from being a rat's nest. Um, if you figured out by now, I love shrink tubing. Okay, let's take one final look. So the, the wires we just put together, I uh, connected them to the switch terminals or the, the switch positions on the terminal block. Uh, they're all going through the firewall. I'm going to terminate those just behind the empty um, switch blanks that are on the bottom column of that of the of the column of the FJ. So I'm just going to wire all those back there. Um, so one thing I forgot to mention was the the negative ground, the, the, the grounds for the relays. I connected them all together here on on the ground for the, the FJ. So that was a convenient spot to put it to. Um, one nice feature of this uh, resettable fuse is if you want to work on your car and you got anything connected here. So if you, you can basically open trip the fuse and now everything connected to here all the power is gone so it's a pretty nice convenient feature um, well this concludes this project uh, if you have any questions please just send me a question and I'll try to answer those for you if you like this video please click the like button and share and subscribe to the FJ channel I hope to see you guys next time bye